Well, hi everybody, it's Greg, and I've got another video with another idea on how to feed power into the Zoom F8 audio recorder. I made a couple of videos previously, and since then, Zoom has introduced the F4 audio recorder. Now, the F4 has a lot of the same characteristics as the uh, F8, especially when it comes to feeding power into the recorder through the Hirose uh, power connection. So, everything I've told you about sending power into the Zoom F8 using the Hirose connector applies to the Zoom F4 as well. So F4 users, welcome aboard. Let's have some fun here. Now, just to briefly summarize, in my previous videos, I talked about how you could power the Zoom F8 using maybe you know, a professional video camera battery like one of these guys. Okay, and um, I figured if you already have professional video equipment, you already have maybe a spare battery or two that you could dedicate to uh, the F8, and you already have the battery charger that you need for that. So um, it's an economical solution. All you need to do is figure out the best way to couple your camera battery into the Hirose connection on your Zoom F8, and you're, and you're ready to go. So um, the other reason I wanted to suggest using that was I was trying to let you run the F8 for a longer duration before you had to worry about changing batteries. So again, economical and longer duration, that's what my videos were about. So the second video was about how you could maybe instead of having something like this, which uses eight batteries to power the Zoom F8, you could maybe come up with a battery pack that uses 10 AA batteries to power the Zoom F8. And that way, again, you could get a slightly longer duration before you had to change batteries. And you could use these in cooperation with uh, maybe a spare battery pack that you can slide in and out of the F8 for uh, you know just the internal battery source. So, the next logical step is, well, what if instead of using AA batteries, you started to try to use D batteries for your Zoom F8? Uh, the advantage of the D batteries is, uh, first of all, they're using the same one and a half volts per battery that you would use with AA batteries. But take a look at this. Just the raw size of the D battery compared to the AA battery. You can pack a lot more energy into this big old D battery compared to your AA battery. So if you could come up with a battery pack that used eight D batteries instead of eight AA batteries, that would be the standard way to power your F8 or your F4, you know, how long would that run? And so that would, again, give you a somewhat economical way to run your F8 because D batteries, you know, they're, they're pretty easy to find just about anywhere you go. And also, again, that longer duration between having to change batteries. So all I need to do now is come up with a, a battery pack similar to this one. So you can get something like this that's designed to take four batteries on one side, and you get four more on the other side, and they're all in series, so together they'll add up to the 12 volts needed to run the Zoom F8. And that's, that's gonna be the same uh, kind of wiring as this internal battery pack that comes with the F8. You get one of these supersized to take D batteries instead of AA batteries. You get one that looks, you know, just like this except bigger. For eight, nine dollars online, I don't know, I looked around, but uh, before I pulled the trigger on getting uh, a supersized D-sized battery version of one of those, I found this instead, and I really liked this because it has a, a cover that slides on and off. So I like that, and that'll hold four D-sized batteries, and then you can just slide the cover on, and that makes for a nice battery pack, except that um, it only holds four D-sized batteries, and, well, you need eight to get up to the 12 volts needed to run the F8. So what I decided is to go ahead and get, get two of them, and I'm going to attach them to each other and wire these two battery packs to each other in series, and that is going to give me the battery pack that I need to run the Zoom F8 using nothing but D-sized batteries. So, let's just put this together really quick and uh, show you what it can do. Okay, something really nice about this is that it already has four little tabs on here with uh, holes in them so you can run little screws through here, and that's what I'm going to do to just attach these two 
to each other in a more permanent uh, way. So all I need is I've got here some short screws and nuts and washers and I'm going to use these right now to attach these two battery holders together. Okay, it's a little bit of a tight fit based on the, the exact washers and screws that I have chosen for this project, but um, once I get around sort of the, the trickiness of just making them fit together nicely to each other, uh, it just takes a couple turns of the screw to make it all better. All right, apart from the pressure of trying to do this in front of an audience, uh, it's not, not, not too bad. Just uh, I, I got them attached here physically, as you can see, with these four tabs. So um, now it's, it's one piece, and now I just got to do the wiring on this. And uh, what I need to do is wire one, uh, one of the positive leads from one of these battery compartments to the negative lead of the other battery compartment. And then when I do that, that'll make all eight of the batteries uh, one unit together, eight batteries wired in series, which is the power that I need to run the F8. So I'm gonna take advantage of uh, some holes that are already inside of here, and I'm gonna tuck the one positive wire right down through the middle and out the other side. And then from there, I'm going to bring it out uh, out this side. So now the way I've had this set up, if I attach these two wires together, that is going to uh, effectively electrically connect these two boxes together, the two halves um, into one, and then I just use these leads off of here, and this is going to give me my 12 volts of power that I'm going to need. So let's solder this together and make it official. Okay, let's just agree that I don't have the best on-camera skills. I can't solder things and make it look super pretty while I'm doing it, but uh, we got the connection made. Now, the only thing left to do is put a connector on these. So what I need uh, in order to match all the other hardware I've created in these videos is uh, this right here. This is uh, uh, 5.5 millimeter outside diameter, 2.1 millimeter inside diameter. The outer sleeve is going to be negative. The inner tip is going to be positive. I'm going to wire this, it has a bare end on this end, up to these leads, and uh, that will be my completed battery box. Okay, not too bad for a prototype. I think I could do some better tape though. But anyway, so here, here you have both, uh, both sides attached to each other, and the elect electrical connection to this uh, DC power plug. So all I have to do now is fill it up with batteries and test the voltage. So I'm gonna go with a fresh set of these Alkaline D batteries that I picked up. There we go. All right, there, my friends, is your battery pack. And let's just quickly run a couple test leads on this just to make sure we're getting positive tip and negative outer sleeve. And would you look at that? Uh, just under 13 volts. So that's about normal for uh, alkaline batteries when they're brand new. We'll give you just a little bit more than one and a half volts each. So there I go. I think I'm ready to try using this on the Zoom F8. Now, I guess the thing to do is to do an endurance test. So I'm going to start with this brand new set of fresh, fully, fully charged new uh, alkaline batteries. Attach them to the Zoom F8, 
with the Hirose power connector and see how long they go before the batteries are completely depleted and not uh, worth using anymore. And we can hope that that means it's going to go for, I don't know, all day. Let's just say you're a professional sound guy, you need your batteries to last all day. Let's just find out what it is. And I'll use the same parameters I used for my other uh, endurance tests on previous videos. So I'm going to have six channels of audio recording at 48K, 24-bit, uh, and I'm going to have four of them with phantom power and two without phantom power. I'm going to start it up and leave it going and see how long it goes. Now, if you try this uh, at home, um, there is a setting on the F8 where if you turn it on and you don't touch any buttons for 10 hours, it'll turn itself off. So um, I'm going to somewhere in the middle of this test, you know, push some buttons so that it doesn't shut itself off. I'll watch the the readout on the power meter in here and just see how it goes. And I'll give you the results uh, in just a whoa, moment. Whoa, 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 not so fast there. Okay, listen, in order to do this right, I'm going to have to run a handful of tests with different battery configurations. And then when I have the results of all of those endurance tests, I will post a new video. It's gonna take a few days to run every test that I want to do. So please be patient and I will get back to you with all of the results. So thanks for your patience. To be continued.